My name is Sharon Santoni. I write the blog My French Country Home, where I aim to give my readers a taste for authentic French living. Today I'd like to talk about French home decor and invite you to come along with me while I visit my friend Josiane Lenoir, the owner and designer of the Hôtel Suard. The opportunity to renovate a 16th century property is rare. Josiane wanted to respect the intrinsic character of the building. When she bought the house, it only had one bathroom and one loo. Today, there are seven bathrooms, three beautiful guest bedrooms and two guest suites, as well as Josiane's private apartments. So how has she done this? For a start, while restoring the Hotel Suar, Josiane went out of her way to find local artists, antique dealers and artisans. The result is stunning. It feels luxurious, but it's never intimidating. Let's examine some of the details and work out how she's put this look together. First of all, the colors. We're in the north of France here, where the spring and the summer are beautiful, but we do have a lot of gray skies in the winter, and all white walls aren't necessarily the best option. Josiane chose to go with a traditionally French gray color on the walls, setting off her furniture and art collections. The doors are original to the building, but when Josiane bought the property, they didn't look the way they do today. She stripped down 12 coats of paint to reveal the beautifully aged wood beneath. Josiane has carefully picked sofas to provide modern seating alongside her antique chairs. And in the dining room, there is a long table with carved detail and a lovely patina. It isn't old, but it fits perfectly into her color palette and style. She generously agreed to share her addresses with us. Belem may be a tiny town, but it has a dozen high-end antique dealers. I always think you recognize a good antique dealer when he or she has a real style to call their own. Claude and Alain Fassier are a fantastic example of that. As you walk through their door, you are immediately aware of having stepped into a universe where the owners have built a collection of the unusual and the extraordinary. I love meeting people who work with a passion. Their enthusiasm is contagious and I'm immediately drawn to their curated collections. I host many buyers from abroad here in Normandy. I love to take them antique shopping and see their pleasure as together we discover some of the hidden gems that my region has to offer. Just down the street from the Fassier is Jean-Luc Gonsard with his quirky lamps, each one of a kind made from unexpected and recycled utensils like a cheese grater or a sieve. Jean-Luc really does take the time to make one-off pieces. He doesn't have an internet site, he doesn't sell online. He's more interested in the experience of meeting his clients. And as soon as you walk through the door, you feel welcome and comfortable. There's also Valérie Smilenko, whose passion for antique frames and original art draws connoisseurs, buyers from afar afield. I hope you've enjoyed this home visit. Creating home decor is a mix of many elements, and over the next few weeks I shall show you ways to interpret these truly French features and adapt them to your own home.